Existing conversational search systems are mostly limited to being trained and evaluated with artificial and recorded search logs. This fails to address the open-ended nature of conversations. A key reason is the lack of reliable user simulation. In this work, we, invest in, we investigate the challenges of user simulation for conversational search and present some timely analysis. User simulation for conversational search is usually defined as a seek-to-seek -seek text generation task. The goal is to generate an answer given the user's search intent, the potentially ambiguous query, and the clarifying question from the system. There were some existing approaches for simulator user responses in the past. However, we find that they are either limited to only responding to yes-no questions, or unable to generate high-quality responses in general. The table below shows that simply fine-tuning T5 small, which is a model that is four orders of magnitude less than GPT 3.5, can significantly outperform these approaches. Instead of simply reporting this as the new state of the art, we conduct an in-depth investigation on the T5 small generations to see why they have low scores. We categorize six reasons as shown in the table. The most common reason is generating the wrong answer type. Sometimes T5 fails to realize that the clarifying question and the search intent have the same meaning. To address this, we leverage the similarity between user simulation and question answering task, which is never mentioned by previous approaches. We propose that a pre-trained question answering model and an extra answer typing step could improve the generation quality. The second most common reason is the cooperativeness mismatch. Sometimes human tends to answer the question with minimal effort, while the simulator provides more information, and vice versa. We observe that human cooperativeness tends to be random in the dataset. Therefore, given the current input, it is unreasonable to require the simulator to predict the cooperativeness itself. As an alternative, we propose to separate the dataset according to the length of the user responses and train multiple user simulators instead of just one. Our results show that the two proposed solutions for the two reasons are indeed effective as they each significantly reduce the error rates. To summarize the contributions, we investigate the challenges of user simulation and the problems of existing systems and evaluations. As a solution, we demonstrate a simple two-step generation system. Thank you for checking out our work.